Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your daily Bitcoin update. In this video, we'll do a full overview of Bitcoin. We'll talk about what happened yesterday because that was uh, pretty anticlimactic. Um, we, we got some positive news with the inflation rate and the core inflation rate and the CPI, all of them being lower than expected. And what did Bitcoin do? Bitcoin fell, uh, which is, I did a quick live stream yesterday. It is something we talked about in the live stream. Uh, but still, and I also said that, still, I thought it would be more likely that we would actually get a move up to 31,400. Uh, so I was wrong about that. Um, I did say, I mean, I, I wasn't too sure about uh, us going up there. I mean, those um, news like that sometimes also gets used by people who want to sell a lot of Bitcoin, like, for example, the US government. Uh, to sell it at that point of time because there's a lot of people buying into the price because of the positive news. Um, but all right, so that's what happened yesterday. But uh, today we'll talk about what's going to happen today and in the future. Uh, so before we dive into that, we'll do a full analysis. We'll do some Elliott Wave analysis and just in general, I'll tell you my thoughts. Uh, before we dive into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, <clears throat> check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you will find instructions on how to join. But now to Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, yesterday was a pretty volatile day. You can also see that in the in the volume, I suppose the volume, well, no, the volume is actually still pretty low. It's around 14 billion now, uh, right now. Um, it has actually grown since yesterday, but it's it's been stalling and a little bit like gr growing and then falling over the course of the last uh, 12 hours. So there's not that much going on for Bitcoin. Uh, today we have some economic events in the in the initial jobless claims and the continuing jobless claims. If those are higher than expected, that's good for, for Bitcoin. If those are lower than expected, that's bad. Uh, but altogether, the dollar strength index is just very, very bearish. Uh, so that's good for Bitcoin. At least, I mean, it, it should be good because that we have dropped down this far and since like since the Thursday the 6th, and since Thursday the 6th, Bitcoin hasn't really moved because of it. So you can argue whether the correlation is still there uh, between the dollar strength index and Bitcoin. I would say at this point of time, it probably isn't really. Um, <clears throat> even though at, at some points of time, it, it's probably still there. And that the dollar strength index has fallen this much also means that we will probably at some point recover a bit. And that would induce bearish momentum from, from Bitcoin. But all right. Um, this video uh, up, up until now has been all over the place. Quick market structure. If you take a look at the daily time frame, you can see that right now we are in the fifth wave of this impulse wave, which we started at the beginning of 2023. And um, we haven't really made a new higher high yet. I mean, technically we did, but not really. So we're still waiting for that fifth wave. Right now we're consolidating between 31,400 and 29,700. And the big question is, is will we get some sort of a pullback now? Uh, potentially down to 28,900 or can we actually stay in this range and then at some point of time break above 31,400 and then get our fifth wave up to 34,000? That's a big question. Uh, and to be fair with you, I mean, with this bearish momentum that we got because of the inflation rate, I would actually say it is more likely uh, also because of the dollar strength index potentially finding support soon. Uh, and also because the end of the week is coming and the end of the week is usually a, a period of time where a lot of big market makers and institutions close their positions um, and, and, you, and you can better bet that they are long right now um, in, in these market circumstances. So that's why I think we can actually get some bearish momentum. We just found support around 30,200. We might actually uh, find some more support there, but overall at this point of time, it looks most likely that we'll do some sort of a liquidity grab down to 29,500, 29,700. And that from there we'll get enough bullish momentum to stay in this range. But I don't see any reason. Uh, you know, we could get to 31,400, but I don't see any reason to, to break out of this, this range uh, for now. So I'll keep you updated on that. Obviously, I'm still following all the news around it. But uh, for now, this is my take on Bitcoin. So thank you for watching. Take care and, uh, and bye.